All right, welcome back. Hoping you guys are having a fabulous day. We're here at, Re uh, what is it, EU Reset. Okay, this has happened. Guess the banner. Go ahead. I know you have some uh, some ideas. It's nothing that I've been saying. I don't know. It makes sense, I guess, kind of. But let's show it to you. Ready? It is going to be the one, the only Endeavor. Yep, Endeavor's back. Honestly, no idea why. That means now Dobby will be, be what, 240 days away from the game when he returns, if he returns next. So... They're about to make the longest character uh, rerun ever. Like, that's gonna be it. So, there is that. Now, again, with this, if you need Endeavor, he's pretty good. Um, honestly, after, like, the technicals we have in the game, Endeavor's definitely fallen off. Um, you need him at SS. Yeah, that's the first thing. And for a bigger boost, you need his Lance card. So, recently, he's definitely taken a little bit more of a plunge. But if you have the time and, the, uh, and like, the ability to invest into him, he will be a good character. For all of you new players asking, how good is Endeavor? He is damn good when you invest into him. The way to make him really damn good is SS or you get his Lance card and or both. You do both, he's even better. So that is mainly where he actually gets his jumps. Again, very good character still, um, but if you are having him an S, he won't do, good, uh, do as good or kind of anything in comparison to what he does um, after those two jumps. So that's Endeavor, okay? But there's a new event, Hero Exploration Pool. If you were to check it over here, it looks really cool. Um, the same art that was leaked, um, that was that. With it though, let's check it. Let's see how it is. I waited, okay? I could have done this beforehand and like learned it. So I, this is like my first reaction to it. So if I'm stupid, it's separate. Um, mystery box, select a reward, quests, and then this little character right here, that's pretty sick. Okay, so with this, log in daily during the event period to obtain rewards. Player can um, select specific rewards during the event and selected reward will be added into the mystery box. Player can use exploration tokens to exchange for prize balls and claim the corresponding prize box, prize balls and prize box. Okay, to the number on the ball. Oh, never mind. Prize ball. Okay, I see what they did there. The chances of attaining um, all numbers are the same. Once drawn, the same number won't be available again. After the event ends, unclaimed prizes will be sent to the player via in-game mail. Reset. Once all prizes have been claimed, the prizes will automatically reset. Player, uh, players, I think they meant to say, player can also reset it manually by spending hero coins. So let's check this out, all right? Select reward. Go just like click. Oh no, select reward, all right? Select rank diamond um, reward pool. Five premium summons? No way. This is uh, my hero tweeting. They say uh, Endeavor is back with his villain burning hell flame. So that is there. Not bad, but with this, I'm picking this. This is like the, you pick this. Don't pick anything else. Pick this or else I'll slap you. Got it? Next, rank gold. Ooh, uh, this is worth it. This is 250 hero coins. This is like a few runs of team up. I'm gonna go premium summon. Oh, I can do two. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing this. Not that, I I'd rather have this, honestly. Uh, for this, um, summons, stamina, this is, this is, this, this, this could be a gold piece of gear. Not this. For a new player, don't even pick this, pick these. Uh, this is even better than this, but this is last place, okay? So that's what I picked. Okay, rewards, if you're wondering this, this, and this, I'll hit complete. Confirm the rewards, confirm. Okay. Now, I have the ability to summon on this thing. Oh, that's sick. That's sick. All right, so I can claim one, right? And I can do quests for more. I can get one, two, three, four uh nine wait yeah oh so it's two five okay so seven altogether here so nine as exactly as i said um what 14 and then two alloy two special alloy no freaking way and a deku ex card okay there can we actually the thing is can we actually pull a hundred times this event is two weeks long if these are season missions how many season missions are there you get a daily one just for logging in, which is 14. So you get, let me do the calculator real quick. So 14 plus, let's see, three, this is five, seven, nine, nine plus 10, so 19, 21, 22, 23. Uh, yeah, you're not making, you're not making 100. So unless there's other ways to pull it, details? No, there's no other ways to pull it. All right, so off of my, uh, my uh, assumption here. I don't think we're actually getting anything. All right, let's see this, all right? But maybe I'll, I'll look into it, B2. And I got food, wonderful. How does this work? I'm so lost. Pull a total of five times. Pull a total of 20 times. So, I get one, 
a day for just logging in. In five days, I'll get one more. All right, so I'm gonna be recording the section here of this video because I wanted to just make it a little bit more uh, concise. So what this event is, after understanding it, you just, that's it. All you get is one per day. It, it's just a login. You gotta take this as a login. In my opinion, this is utter trash. Literally utter trash, okay? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. You get 14. It, you get half a chance at actually pulling something here. That's the whole point of this. You, it's literally, it's another pay to win event. That's all it is, right? So if you actually like, there's no point in my opinion to put this here. Like, what is this? Well, why put the overclock alloy acting as if it's something anybody can achieve? You have to just dump money into this to actually achieve any of this stuff. So anything beyond 20, not even anything beyond five. After you get five, that's it. That's all you get, okay? So you'll get 15 summons all together in this entire event, making it one, two, three rows cleared out. Now, it's pure luck. Maybe you get the five summons and you're biased against this event saying it's actually good. It's just, that's it. This event is garbage. That's all I got to say. They made it um, pay to win. But really, like if you look at the bundles, the bundles is, this is what, this is it. This is the whole point of it, right? You spend on these, you take that, you dump it in here. And then after you complete everything, you can go back and pick more rewards and more rewards. It's the dumbest event ever. So basically what you should take this as, it's just a login event. You log in, you go over here, you hit claim, you then summon and you hope and pray you at least pull this or maybe just this or at least something else that you picked up along the way. Um, it's RNG, right? So you're not gonna actually guarantee beat it unless maybe if I go to mail right now and they're actually insanely nice and they leave like a multi for free in there. Let's see, Copium, come on. Reckoning Sins Progression, that's not it. Uh, Hero Exploration Reward Compensation, what is this? One. One. Unless that's daily, I don't even know. This is depression, bro. Unless that's a daily thing, then maybe you can actually clear everything. But if that's not daily, I don't even know. If, if, if they do it, if this is if this is daily tomorrow, that's even better. If not, this is, I don't know, not not a very uh, a very fun event. Again, I thought it was like, you can grind for something, you can grind for the currency, you can do something. It's basically, as I've mentioned, it's a gotcha pond, okay? It's mainly for whales, nothing for free to plays. You summon each day, you hope and pray you get something. Purely RNG, not content by any means, but hey. I mean, they wanted, to, uh, they wanted to add it. And before I get this comment, and I know someone's gonna say this, like, oh, go, go. It might mean if you go over to the banner and summon, you maybe get like a point. I summoned one time already with my free one just to check it. That didn't work, but I'll use a paid summon. This is a, uh, a regular summon here. And you know what, just for you, um, I don't wanna use this. That's such a stupid decision. You know what, I'm not gonna do that, Never mind. But I'll use this just, just to show it to you also here. Look at that, two summons spent, right? Now, if I go over there, that doesn't count. It's, it's pulls as in pull, these pulls, right? If I go over here, two out of five, there you go. So two out of five is what it is. So you have to buy like these things. I don't know. Endeavor is out. If you want to go and summon for him, um, his banner is not bad at all. Again, you need him at, uh, at SS. You need him uh, with Lance card to get the biggest like amount of damage, best results, whatever. That's what you need for Endeavor, okay? With that, again, no, uh, no login, no nothing here. And also no uh, anything here. So nothing content wise added to the game. Maybe this is like the top up thing. They always add that. Uh, no, no top up thing either. So nothing added other than the zero exploration pool. Um, I don't really know. So let me know your thoughts and opinions. What do you feel about it? I'm gonna check real quick um, from the entire thing. It says, let's see what it says. You have an unclaimed reward, 831. So maybe they like give you in like one each day and then that'll be great. If not, I don't know. We'll see, maybe if this is a daily extra one, it's an outstanding event, you actually can get five summons. But if you don't get a daily one, it's not worth the event, like the event's not worth anything, right? So, my opinion, 